everybody welcome to a new video we've just finished up having breakfast at the TP behind me do you enjoy it Grap? yeah yeah <laughs> yeah uh, I don't want to be too picky but yeah yeah it was nice yeah and we finally got some sunshine for the first time like all week and we actually nearly chose this venue as our wedding venue, didn't we? Very nearly. Yeah. yeah, we actually nearly picked this venue as our wedding venue. We came to see it when it was just being built. And the events manager at the time managed to sneak us onto the building site, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Snuck us into the building site so we could take a look inside what they'd done so far. And it's, well, it looked really nice, didn't it? Yeah, I can't remember but, what we did. Well, the place that we did book our wedding at was just, I think it just had the little something extra that we were looking for. But it's, Ooh, yeah, it looks sweet. really nice here. It's a little later in the day now and I've just got back from Aldi. I only went to do a kind of mini top-up shop, but I've ended up doing a full shop. So I thought I would just quickly show you what I got. Um, this is in no way sponsored or in collab with Aldi at all. I'm just a big fan of Aldi, as I know a lot of people are. And our bill today came to £62. So I'll show you everything that we got for £62. I just think the value is real. And if you're having one of those weeks where you want to get stocked up on your food cupboard or you want to just stock up your freezer, even just to do that, I think it's worth a trip to Aldi to get stocked up on things. So yeah, I'll show you everything that I got. And I would consider us to eat relatively healthy. We try to have a good balanced mix of meat, starch, vegetables in all of our meals and try and get our fruit and veg in every day. But we are also realistic. We have um, certain treats that we'll always have. And because Grant can work away all over the country, um, sometimes with it just leaving me for dinner, we do like to have some really quick, easy freezer teas in that can just be, you know, chucked in the microwave or thrown in the oven for just one person. So I'll start over here with all of the fridge food that I got. So we've got a couple of pasta salads over here and I like to have these for my lunch when I'm working got some grapes these are already open because I've just had some <laughs> I didn't buy them open um, some Mediterranean veg that's really nice to just throw in the oven and have that with some chicken we've got a ready-made lasagna some baby corn carrot batons Again, I love to just grab these out the fridge and just snack on them when I'm at work. It'll save me from getting a chocolate bar or something sweet. Uh, country vegetable soup. Again, this is something else that I love to have for lunch when I'm working. And then we've got some peaches, some salad potatoes, and these were on Aldi's, I think it's called the Super Six that they do each week, um, where they basically have six different fruit or veg at the front of the store. And I think they're on a, a special rate, but they're always, always under a pound, I think. We've got some minted lamb kebabs. So we'll probably have these with some rice, vegetables, And this is another one of my favourites from Aldi. It is a Chinese chicken stir fry meal kit and it comes with the chicken and some vegetables. And this is really easy. It's basically a stir fry. Um, so we just do this with some rice and that's a really nice, quick, easy tea. And then over here, I've just put all of kind of our drinks and food cupboard bits and bobs. So we've got back here. <laughs> We've got some mixed berry, which is basically a dupe for Vimto. 
We've got Vive Iron Brew, dupe for Iron Brew. Or I don't know if that is a partner brand of Iron Brew because it's called Iron Brew, I don't know. We've got a... We've got a smoothie, and that is pomegranate blueberry smoothie. <clears throat> We've got apple and elderflower sparkling water. I love to have this as kind of a substitute to fizzy drinks sometimes. Got some milk, got orange juice, apple juice, and then cupboard bits. We've got some crackers here, some sea salt crackers for cheese. Um, we've got rosemary crackers. I like to actually snack on these as well sometimes, um, just whilst I'm working at my desk. Nice to grab a couple of those. And then I always pick up a few packets of rice. So we've got golden vegetable rice and a couple of Mexican style rice. And these are only 45p each, or is it 42p? They're only about 40 pence each per packet of rice. And it's just things like this that I find really cut your bill down when you're shopping because in other supermarkets, a packet of rice is generally twice or three times the cost of that. And it's the same with their tinned food as well. So I always get some chunky chopped tomatoes. I like to have that on toast for lunches. Or I make pastas. I use that for pasta sauce bases. We've got a whole bunch of tuna. Um, Grant likes to take those for his lunches. Some mushy peas. And then we've got some eggs. I'm hoping to do some baking this week, so I've picked some eggs up. Um, we've got some sesame bagels and some white bread rolls. We'll have those with, um, I've got some burgers and we have some chicken burgers, so we can have them with those. And these are, the good thing about grabbing some of these is that they are freezable. So if, because there's only two of us usually, I'll just pop two of these out for tea and then the rest of them I'll just pop in the freezer and we can defrost as and when we need them. One thing that I will say is Aldi's cereal selection can be a bit hit and miss, but I've found this um, Honey Nut Crunchy Corn Flakes and these are actually really nice. I really like these. And like I said, we do always pick up a few treats for ourselves and... As you can see, you can get some branded products at Aldi. Not loads, but you can get some branded products. Um, so I love Kinder Bueno. We've got some ginger nuts, have with cups of tea. And we've got some peppermint infusion tea bags. I love having a peppermint, peppermoon, peppermint tea in the afternoon. <laughs> I mix those two words and I always do that. Um, oh yeah, we've got some nice roses here so 10 stems white roses and they are only £2.29 I always like to get some nice fresh flowers when I go shopping I think it's just nice to have them out and about and then another area that's really good for products is the kind of home cleaning and your random bits and bobs that you need for your home so we've got some power force bleach some of these toilet cistern blocks, and they're only like 50p. I don't even think they're that cheap in kind of home bargains and B&M. They're definitely not that cheap in supermarkets, but they definitely do the same job. Um, tissue boxes. This time of year, I go through tissues like no tomorrow because of hay fever, and these boxes are also a product that I've not really found cheaper anywhere else that are also decent quality, and they're only 75p, I think. And then I also stocked up on some freezer things because we have run out. So I've got some cones, which are dupes for... What are they called? Oh, Cornettos. Cones, they're dupes for Cornettos. And my problem is I have such a sweet tooth, so after tea, I always like to have some kind of 
ice cream or something in the freezer. If I sit with a tub of Ben and Jerry's, I can just eat the whole tub in one go, so easy. But at least if I have something like this, I'll just have the one and it'll just curb that craving. <laughs> Um, so I got some four chicken and vegetable pies, beef quarter pounder burgers, beer battered chip shop haddock fillets and a couple of pizzas. We've got smoked salami, cured ham and pepperoni and then some ready baked jacket potatoes. Again, I like to have these for my lunches sometimes. You can just pop those in the oven. And some cauliflower cheese. I know that oven cauliflower cheese can be a bit hit and miss if it's obviously kind of remade, but this is actually really good. And then the final thing is this family pack of crisps, onion rings, bacon rashers, cheese puffs. Um, yeah, like I say, you know, we are realistic. We do like to treat ourselves with bits and bobs and try to have everything in moderation. But yeah, that's everything that I got today. I hope that you like watching these bits because I, I'm so nosy. I love to watch what people have bought for their shopping and what meals they've put together. So hopefully that can maybe give you some ideas. So I just picked up the camera quickly because I've just got home from my first trip to the office in about 15 months. It's the first time I've been back to the office since I started working from home full time. So I've got my laptop with me and picked myself up a little peach iced tea. Well yeah, it's the first time I just popped in the office this afternoon. Um, just to meet a new manager um, and yeah it was just bizarre it was really weird for kind of the first half an hour it was just really strange being back in the office and seeing familiar faces and having a catch up with everybody and then after that it was kind of like I felt like I'd never left and nothing had happened so yeah it was it was really weird but it was nice to be back as well. Nice to go in and see everybody. Um, so yeah, I've been in the office for a couple of hours this afternoon. Um, I'm just going to tie up a couple of work bits now that I'm home. And then we are going out for tea tonight. And we are eating inside, which is so exciting. It's the first day today we've been able to finally eat inside. So we're going to go and have some Italian for tea. So I can't wait for that, it's just going to be so nice and yeah, just eating inside without worrying about our food flying away or getting wet. <laughs> oh, what a rush. <laughs> I just got in the car on my way to our Italian meal tonight. Um, Gran is actually working away tonight so had a bit of a rush back from the office because I ended up staying later than I thought I might do. Come on little chicky. It's really funny on our estate at the minute. A lot of the, um, well a few of the swans have had, um, I can't remember what you call a baby swan, but they've had ducklings and you have to be like super careful now on the road when you're driving past the lake because all the little chickies are out everywhere and um, yeah i'm on my way now to our italian meal because grant is staying away tonight with work I had a bit of a rush back from the office um taking indy out on a nice walk got home quick change and i'm off again <laughs> It does seem quite bizarre doing this after obviously not being out and about for ages with COVID and things. So, yeah. Hi everyone, it's now Wednesday today and I'm just about to go in and join a nice pamper night because tomorrow I have booked a bit of an impromptu 
visit to a shop for something really exciting. So one of my friends recommended this shop to me and tomorrow we're going to go and visit and try on some wedding dresses for the first time ever. So I'm super excited about that. I do have a more formal appointment booked at a store um, for a few weeks time and that will definitely be more of a kind of experience where we'll have some nice drinks and spend a few hours trying on dresses. Whereas tomorrow it was a bit more impromptu. Um, so yeah, we're going to go and try on some wedding dresses tomorrow for the first time ever. So I've got a rough idea of what I would like, but I've been told by a lot of friends to just keep an open mind and just try on some different styles. So yeah, I thought this was obviously the perfect excuse for a nice pamper night and just to relax and recharge a bit so that I'm feeling my very best tomorrow when we're trying the dresses on. And I also thought I'd share a box that Friction Free Shaving very kindly sent me. And I've used their brand for years now, so I was absolutely chuffed to receive a box from them. And if you've never heard of them before, they are a online razor subscription service, and they also recycle their blades too. They're really environmentally conscious, and I personally find that really budget friendly too. For me, I found that they were actually substantially cheaper than the alternative razors and the alternative brand that I was using before them but like I said I've been using these for a couple of years now so I'm just really excited to try a few of their new products and enjoy a nice pamper night. Hi have you come to see? Okay you can come for the unboxing. <laughs> okay so here we have box from Friction Free Shaving and first of all I just love their designs I love the aesthetic of how all of this looks so in this box we've got a suction cup holder for the side of your bathroom we've got a cute little bag here and then we've got the razors I think these have five blades each then we've got a little, I love that they call it a clamshell, <laughs> but we've got a little uh, clamshell here which is the cover for your blade, your razor head and uh, that's Indy jumping off the bed. Um, we've also got the rose gold razor handle here and this is one of my favourite things of all. So these are actually engraved, so if you can see that, mine's engraved with Bethany. I think that's such a nice touch. And in the past I've lived in a house of nine girls, so something like this would have been perfect back then. Um, they also sent me a pre-shave exfoliant, which I haven't tried that one before, so that'll be nice to try. The number two remove shaving cream and number three soothe post shave balm now this one I have used before and I really like it it's a really nice texture and after shaving it just leaves your skin feeling silky smooth so yeah how cute is this um I know they also do gift boxes as well um and I recently got my mum a subscription and I think it's a really nice gift that's a little bit different but it's something that somebody will actually use which is nice and all of the products are completely cruelty free and like I mentioned they're really environmentally conscious and the blades can be sent back to them and recycled too. All you do is save them up and then basically just send them back to them.
just quickly film now whilst I'm just getting ready to go to look at wedding dresses for the first time. I thought I would just do my hair and makeup a little bit just to try and get the kind of full effect when I'm trying the dresses on just to see what I think. But I'm feeling super nervous. I don't know, I didn't think I'd feel nervous. Is that normal? I don't know. And I don't know why I feel nervous either. Like I'm excited, but I can't put my finger on why I'm feeling nervous. <laughs> but yeah. We've just finished up with work and I'm gonna go over to the shop and try some dresses on and I'm taking my mum and my sister who is my maid of honour but at the moment obviously because of Covid restrictions they're the only people that I can take so I want to try and video as much as I can just because I'm really fortunate that I come from quite a big family and there are a lot of like really special people that I would ordinarily have liked to come with me but obviously yeah we're restricted on how many people can actually come so for example I would have loved for my godmothers and aunties to come with and my mother-in-law well mother-in-law to be technically <laughs> Um, so yeah I thought maybe at least if I film it then maybe they can get, they can watch it maybe and kind of be there in a different way I suppose but we are, oh my gosh I've just realised we're less than a year to the wedding now so today it is the 20th of May which means, I won't say the exact date but we are less than a year to go now. That's crazy. I hadn't, I've only just realised now. Oh my gosh. Wow. So, yeah, basically, anyway, I've just curled my hair just with my GHDs. These are the really thick barreled ones. Um, and these I have had since about year seven in school. Like these are just straighteners for life and because my hair is really thick I, if I want to just style it in a hurry I like to just run my GHDs through it and just get some kind of waves in the bottom there and by the time I get there these will have dropped out but I do find it just gives my hair a bit of texture because it can fall flat sometimes because it is so thick. I just spray a bit of dry shampoo. And just set with a bit of hairspray. And there. Done. So I'm gonna go and get changed and then we gonna go.
Hi everyone, we've just got back from um, one of our local pubs. We've been back there for the first time tonight since it reopened. We've just had some tea um, and I had a huge lasagna for the second time this week. Uh, <laughs> I always joke that I'm like Garfield the cat because I just love lasagna. Like, ugh, do you know what I mean? It's just so good. So yeah, I've had a huge lasagna, garlic bread, and it's just been like really dark and drizzly and cloudy and horrible today, but it was like just so nice to be sat inside one of our favourite local pubs again and just have like a real nice cosy, like proper pub grub for tea. So it's been really nice. Um, and we've just come home now, I think I'm just going to get my makeup off and we're going to watch a film on Netflix and just chill out now and um, get some plans ready for this weekend, think about what I want to get done. So yeah, that's going to be the rest of tonight. Um, I think the last time I filmed was yesterday afternoon when I was getting ready to go wedding dress shopping. Um, no spoilers, but <laughs> I didn't find the one, the dress yesterday. Although we did have just like, it was really fun. We had such a good time trying on, well, I had such a good time trying on the different dresses and different styles. And the um, lady who was the um, assistant was like so helpful and so friendly and it, it really made a big difference but yeah I did come away from it feeling although we had a great time I did come away from it feeling a bit deflated just because none well a I just didn't find any dresses that I was really in love with and b I felt like all of the dresses I just felt a bit like a little like potato in them like they didn't really fit me and I'm quite a small um quite a short quite a small person quite a short person um and all of the dresses were made for if you're kind of like six foot because it's easier to take fabric up and adjust it and make it shorter than it is to make it longer so yeah I don't know I came away from it a little bit deflated because like I said, I just felt like a bit of a potato and was feeling a bit like, oh, I need to lay off the Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was an impromptu um, visit to that certain store, and we did we did have a really good time, and we did learn a lot. To be fair, I feel like I'm really well prepared now for um, the appointment that I've booked at. A different bridal store which I've always wanted to go to so I feel like I'm, I'm more in the know now about what looks good on my body shape and what I feel good in versus what isn't the most flattering on me so yeah I'm still excited to go to my actual appointment at the bridal store I've booked so yeah I think I'm gonna end this video here Hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for watching and spending some of my week with me and we'll see you again soon.